hi guys how are you doing i hope you're all doing great so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make the edges of your doormat uh, using a sack i promised this in the previous video that i did of how to make a doormat using a sack if you haven't watched it kindly check it out it's right here in this channel you can see it's very fluffy and firm so you can't afford to miss it out it's very simple easy well explained so check it out i'll just leave the link in the in the description box so let's get to the video guys we are going to use a needle and a smaller yarn i think this yarn is the same size as the one that's used in salon to tie your hair after service so you insert it in a needle and make a knot uh, to to prevent it from running mm. before you start making your doormat make sure you identify the upper side of your doormat and the lower side of your doormat so that you avoid any mistakes or any panic that might come after you've made your edges and then you notice the upper side looks bad and the lower side looks bad you see so make sure you identify the lower side and the upper side that's when you'll know how you're going to fold your doormat It's upon you to decide whether you want the knots to be very closer to each other or very far apart from each other or a little bit far and a little bit together with each other like mine. If you decide to make them very closer to each other, be sure you have enough yarn and enough time because it takes a little bit longer than the, the normal ones. But it comes out best, like it's very beautiful compared to these other styles. And guys, the main aim of doing your, the edges of your doormat, especially if you're using a sack, is to prevent the sack from running, you know? So you can use, there are several ways you can make the edges of your doormat, but I decided, like, let me show you the one that's a little bit decorative. And there are several other ways that uh, can also look decorative, but this one is the simplest, trust me. Uh, you have a needle and a yarn, that's it. This is another important part, how to join the yarn when the other one is finished. Obviously, first of all, insert the yarn in your needle. As for me, I'm extracting a very long yarn because I'm tired of uh, making knots, making knots up. After some time the yarn is finished, I have to make a knot. So I prefer like uh, attaching a very long yarn so that I can 
go for long without attaching another one you get but it it disturbs a little bit because it's way too long but it's better than keeping on attaching yarns every now and then
and so guys that marks the end of today's video i hope it has helped you if you've been struggling with how you can make the edges of your doormat a sack doormat i hope this one will help you figure out how to do it and if you haven't watched how to make a doormat using a, a sack it's right here in this channel the link is in the description box make sure you watch it out and thank you so much for the support remember to subscribe like share and comment thank you until next time bye